Berkey, and welcome to the Spatial Data Analysis slash Spatial Econometrics Reboot. This is something I tried to do about four years ago, and life just happened and work happened, and I never got around to finishing the meat and potatoes of the project. I did some work on some GIS stuff. I'm starting again. I'm going to start basically over from scratch. And so I'm calling it my 2017 Spatial Econometrics Data Analysis Reboot. And everything you're going to need for this class is, is going to be free. I'm going to have uh, data files on the, online that you can just download from my website at www.berkeyacademy.com. A little bit about me, I'm Mark Berkey. I'm a professor of economics at North Carolina A&T State University in North Carolina, Greensboro, North Carolina. And I've been the co-editor of a regional science journal called the Review of Regional Studies for about five years now. I just recently stepped down into a lower role. Uh, I, they're calling me the technical co-editor now. I take care of computer stuff and kind of advise what's going on now. This is going to be an introduction to spatial econometrics and all the tools that you're going to need to carry out a spatial econometrics project. So we're going to start with a little bit of GIS and then we're going to move into how to create a data set, how to create a contiguity file that shows how the different regions are related to each other. Uh, we're going to bring everything over into R, and we're going to use R for our uh, spatial data analysis. And so everything we're going to be using, at least in the beginning, is going to be totally free. I'm not going to charge you anything. The software, the data, I'm going to just, I'm going to use is all going to be free. So we're going to be using for our GIS, QGIS. The last time around, I used a program called Map Window, but it just doesn't seem like development of that project is keeping up and QGIS seems like the much more developed platform to use these days if you want a free GIS program it's very good very easy to use so you can download that for free uh, we also might use Geoda a little bit Geoda is uh, something that was created by Luke Anselin and and some other guys that he worked with and it does some spatial statistics, creates weight, spatial weights matrices. So we'll probably work with that a little bit. We'll use R and RStudio with SPDEP and some other libraries that will help us do some spatial econometrics and some other um, spatial data analysis tools. We'll also use some other tools like LibreOffice or OpenOffice. I prefer LibreOffice, but it's a free office suite. Makes it very easy to edit database files, uh, comma separated values files, uh, even a lot easier than using Microsoft's product. And so might as well use it if it's free. Then if there's interest and if I get all the other basic things done, then I might do a little bit of uh, work in MATLAB. MATLAB's not free, but there are several different researchers that some of them work, like to work in Python, some of them like to work in MATLAB, and some of them release their packages in R. So just if we get to that point where we've exhausted everything that's interesting to do with free tools, then I might do some work in MATLAB where there's some interesting tools, especially using some Bayesian spatial econometrics techniques uh, that you can do in MATLAB that I'm not aware, or at least as well developed in R. So um, what I'm planning on covering is some, some basic GIS, how to take data, map it, visualize what's going on, how to use the GIS to create a spatial data set to get all the variables you need in a spatially referenced way, and then take those map files and create what's called a weights matrix so that we can mathematically represent which areas are neighbors, which areas are going to be spatially related to others, and we'll talk about some different ways to do that. Uh, we'll talk about the main models, main different models uh, in spatial econometrics, and we're going to be sticking with cross-sectional data here to begin with at least, and then later on we can talk about how to develop this into some panel data models, perhaps. 
Uh, we'll also talk about some basic, basic stage, some basic spatial statistics, like Moran's eye, basically what we call a spatial correlation. And uh, we'll talk about how do you figure out what's the right spatial specification? Is it a spatial lag model, an error model, a spatial Durbin model, etc.? We'll talk about some of the different tests for doing that kind of thing. And hopefully, I'm going to try to, unlike my previous project, where I was spending a lot of time and a lot of detail in the beginning, and then I just ran out of time, I'm going to try to cut to the chase and go as quickly as we can toward the goal of getting you set up to where you can get your data, get it into a program, and do some spatial econometric model estimation, testing, and interpretation. And hopefully I'll be able to do that all this summer, uh, summer 2017, and try to get it set up to where you can use this as a reference for decades to come. So feel free to join me for this exploration. So in the next video, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you an introduction to QGIS, how to get some data in, how to load maps, make some basic maps, use some of those basic tools. And that'll be what I'm calling video number one. Let me show you my website here real quick just to kind of show you how it's set up. So this is www.berkeyacademy.com. You can click here on the link for spatial.berkeyacademy.com or down here on this map and that will take you to. It's just a shell right now basically, but I am setting up my links to the various programs, so QGIS, link to download that free GIS program here, download R. Then download R Studio, which is kind of a, an environment that, that makes working in R much more pleasant. And some maps and data files that I use in my first QGIS video. And here are some other links to 7-Zip if you need a good program to work with zip files. And a LibreOffice download link in case you want to use that uh, for working with comma-separated values files and ed editing database files. A uh, couple of interesting, very useful tools there. So this is the introduction video by tomorrow. I hope to have a couple of videos up. Um, hopefully, it, I, I already have one video from my last series that's still, still fine, which is an overview of the basic kinds of spatial econometric models. And tomorrow I'm going to have a video up uh, on an introduction to QGIS so that you can play with it. Uh, you'll download some map files and some other data files and bring them in and it's uh, very short, sweet, and interesting. So I hope you join me. Thank you very much. This is Mark Berkey signing out. Normally you're not going to see me in these videos. You're just going to see my desktop or the map program or R and uh, we're going to just be working. So please join me for the ride. And if you have questions, comments, or suggestions, I'm always open. Please contact me and let me know what your thoughts and feelings are. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later.